Alright, his mate here. Sorry, I kind of got the helmet here, man. I just got back from the DoorDash. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so um, I'm going to try to balance the battery uh, in the daytime. <laughs> so the reason I do it at night is because, yeah, there's no solar power coming in. But I don't want to waste the solar power, so I have it charging my RAV4 right now. <laughs> So it's at a really low state of charge. It's it's gonna switch over like soon. It's at 24 volts right now. So, but anyway, I've got it hooked up to battery number two. All right, all right. And so we're using this to monitor. Okay, so battery number two. Oh, I was charging battery number two. It said battery number two was low before, so I don't know, man. Um, but anyway. The low, uh, the highest battery is 3.1, and the lowest battery is 2.8. So we gotta try to charge this one to like at least three volts, is my guess. All right. So I've got it hooked up to number two right now. We're charging it. We'll charge this up to three volts. All right, and then and then we'll connect it to something else, number seven after. I was charging number seven. That's the one I was charging last. But we'll we'll get it back there. So. But yeah, you can see it's low state of charge. This is 24 volts. It's about this is about to switch to the the grid, and then then it's going to start charging the battery. That's the problem. So, um, so this is going to fluctuate a whole lot. It's going to fluctuate a whole lot. So, um, it's basically going to use the yeah, it's going to use the solar panels to charge it while while the loads are are powered by the the grid power. Okay, so so yeah. But it's it yeah. It's like I said, it, it'd be harder to do it in the daytime. That's why I kind of don't want to do it in the daytime. But I'm like, hey, you know, this takes a long time, so uh, we'll just do it while. The reason I have to do it, uh, <laughs> the reason it's hard to do it in the daytime is because uh, the battery isn't at like a high state of charge. All right. Um, I mean, uh, no, no, no. In the in the daytime, the battery's charging, so it's going to be at a higher state of charge. All right. So I'm trying to deliberately keep the the battery at a low state of charge while the solar panels are, are pumping juice into the system right so the way i could do that is by to create a, a really big load a big big enough load where the solar panels can't charge the battery up a whole lot um, if if the battery is charged then it's just going to say 3.2 volts the whole time all right because that's the that's where it likes to stay at all right it stays at 3.2 volts until the battery is fully charged and then, and then the voltage will start ramping up all right and then and then when it's fully discharged it starts going down all right it starts ramping down so we want to be like on in the bottom not in the middle all right type of thing right and then yeah that's called so and that's what we call bottom balance all right you do a top balance when when the voltage is high high up there all right so but we're gonna try to doing the low one uh, and as you can see I'm having a hell of a time doing it. <laughs> this one's there. I'm not really worried about the top balance. The top balance, all we could do, the, the best thing about the top balance is um, it doesn't really matter all that much because um, I've set the uh, I've set the charge cut off to like a lower voltage. All right, it, it could, this could charge to like 29 volts, but I have it turn off at like 28 volts or something. So, so like you're losing like a full volt there, guys. So anyway, I think it's gonna change over soon. It's almost not enough power <laughs> anyway um we will charge that number two up until it gets to like three volts and then we'll move to number seven all right and then we'll we'll just keep on moving around until they're all balanced all right because what i've noticed is when i charge one up another one gets low and then i gotta charge that one up and then that one the other one the voltage goes down so when the voltage stabilizes pretty much when the voltage stabilizes and they're all equal then we'll be balanced all right i wish i could have i wish i could figure out how to get the active balancer to work on the dally bms but i don't i don't know how to do it um it, i've never seen that balancer activate all right um according to the app that it always says it, it's off so <laughs> all right so anyway yeah um, here we go <laughs> I'll, just, uh, I'll just let it charge away all right i'll, I'll have to keep an eye on it but I, yeah i definitely want to do it I definitely don't want to do it while I'm sleeping, and I definitely don't want to do it when I'm not at home, all right? You, I have to monitor it, okay? I can go away for a little while, but I have to come back and periodically check to make sure the voltage doesn't get too high, okay? Because then it'll charge it all away, all right? <laughs> and, and we don't want that. Then that will be a high state of charge, and we'll have to discharge it, you know, compared to the other ones. All right, here's what we got. But I'll tell you this, I like this app a whole lot. It makes balancing the battery a lot easier, all right? It's as simple as, hey, 
the blue one is low that's the one that we have to charge all right i don't have to go through the whole thing and, and compare them all it does the comparing for me all right so this is the highest and that's the lowest all right it's easy the the blue one is the lowest and the red one is the highest so we got to try to get we got to try to get everything else to get close to that all right but also we want to shrink this difference in voltage all right we want to make the variance as low as possible all right last night we were almost getting one volt difference so yeah it's pretty bad so um, you you want to keep this as low as possible all right probably pr preferably under of, under half a volt that's my that's why that's why I feel is like the happy happy spot is under half a volt all right this one is a 0 0.3 volt variance all right that's not bad kind of like where it is right now all right so, so that we want to keep it like that all right but uh, we want to make sure yeah all these ones that are under two three volts we want to get them up to three volts all right, all right that's long ways to go <laughs> all right it's been about like 20 minutes uh so what happened was uh at the grid it's it switched over to grid power and it just uses solar to charge this so now it's draining it again all right now it's three volts <laughs> I know, so it's very hard. It's very hard when, uh, it's very hard in the, um, if you're trying to do it in the daytime when there's power, you know? I mean, I guess I could just disconnect the solar panels, but, yeah, this kind of sucks. Ideally, at the night, was the best time to do it, because then you got no power coming in. Anyway, uh, we were charging what? Number two? So number two looks good now. It's at 3.115 or something, so... I think uh, we're, we'll switch it over to um, seven now. All right, and we'll see. We'll see what happens to number number two. Yeah, we'll see what happens to number two. It's, it'll probably drop again after we pull the charger. So okay, so I'm gonna go charge number seven now over there. Okay, yeah. So I charging number seven now, and whoa, the the high went moved from five to three. That's interesting. Um, anyway, the, uh, the difference in voltage is very low right now. It's like point, point one, one five eight. So um, that just shows you to show where we're getting it up in the to that flat line. All right, that flat line voltage. Um, but it'll, oh yeah, it's at like twenty five volts. Man, that got up there real quick, didn't it? <laughs> all right. So anyway, well, we'll just keep on charging the one that's blue. All right. All right. All right, hey, I've been at it for a little bit. Um, so uh, we're charging number number four now. Okay, number four looks good. Okay, uh, number four looks good. Three point two two three. Um, it's catching up to this one right here. But when I take the charger off, it's going to drop. So um, I'm going to keep it on a little bit longer, and then we'll charge number two. Okay, number two is our next lowest one. And uh, so I. I stopped, uh, it's charging now, all right, so, um, it's probably about time I stopped, that's <laughs> what I want to say, all right, but anyway, yeah, I think number two was the one that was, uh, that was, uh, off also, so, well, I will put it on that for, like, an hour, and then, and then I'm going to call it at night until, uh, until the solar pa panels are, uh, not solar powering anymore, <laughs> okay, it's still, it's still got pr pretty much good amount of power out there, we're still putting 20 about 20 amps into the battery but yeah it's definitely dying off um when it's uh when it's at like at full power you'll see like 40 about 40 amps go into the battery so yeah okay 40 50 amps something like that so i'll just keep an eye on this i'll i'll leave this like this for a little bit longer maybe like 30 more minutes and then i'll pull it off and then, and then it, that should be, I think that might be good. We'll see. We'll find out when we drain the battery tonight. <laughs> All right, here's big out. Uh, okay, so I disconnected number four. I think it's been like half an hour or something extra since the last clip. And then now I've got it hooked up to two. All right, two is the lowest one right now. Okay, two is the lowest one right now. As you can see, it's 3.193. But they're all really, really close right now. So it's kind of like we can't really go off of this anymore. We can't we can't bottom balance anymore. As you can see, the difference in voltages are um, 0 0.045. Really good. Right, that's really good actually. Our highest voltage is 3.2. Our lowest is 3.19. All right. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and charge this for about half an hour, and then I would say let's pick it up after the sun comes down. All right. So.
so we can drain the battery all the way again when I bring the RAV4 back. <laughs> okay, so that's the plan. All right, so now it's just at a point where like all the batteries, all the all the batteries have like synced up again. So uh, we got to go get it back to a low state of charge so we can lo finish uh, bottom balancing. All right. Okay, I think we're just kind of at that point where all the or the solar power is not really doing much anymore. You can see it's like going plus minus plus minus. I think it's it's trying to run my refrigerator right now. Um, anyway, our our see look at the difference in voltage 0 0.012, very very well balanced. All right, that's a a far cry from when it's the state of charge is very very low. <laughs> okay, so that just shows you you know when you're in that middle. Of that charge curve, you know, like charge curve. Let me show you. So this is what I'm talking about. I know I can keep on talking about it, but I don't show you guys. So this is the charge curve, right? Whoop and whoop, yeah, like that. All right, right. So this is this is where we're at right now. This is that 3.2 volts, right? And then once once you go down that once you go down or up, you know, when it's fully charged, it it just rises really quickly. All right. And then when it's when it's close to to running out of charge, it it drops really r rapidly. All right, so that that's the best time to top or bot or that's the best time to balance your batteries. All right, this is the bottom, bottom top. All right, so uh, but we're we want to what Hades Omega wants to do is bottom balance the battery. So um, what we got really close two nights in a row to the BMS just saying, hey, no more, you're too low. All right, one of the cells is just way lower than other ones, and it's just gonna just stop. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, I think I'm uh I'm gonna give my charger a rest. <laughs> it's really freaking hot, man. Yeah, it gets hot when you leave it on for a while. I should probably put a fan on it, but but anyway, yeah, we'll we'll start when I when I go home. All right, what what, what are we at right now? Five percent. All right, yeah, we'll go through that real quick. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. All right, hey, here's me here. It's nighttime, and uh, dang it, I messed up. I left the charger on when I when I was out. All right, I must have left it on for like uh, two hours. I was gone for like more than two hours, man. And so I just came back and I plugged the charger in, and it it went immediately in the grid mode. Right? I didn't have any power. But now the second battery is has 3.2 volts. Is the the one that I was charging is like has the most charge it out <laughs> Think of it. so i overcharge it all right um so the lowest one is number one so it's 2.95 we gotta try to get everything to 3.2 somehow okay so all right well, well anyway we'll just keep on going uh, number two is not the lowest anymore <laughs> all right anyway we'll just keep at it all right here's my help all right, hey, he's me here. It's Sunday. Oh, it's Monday. It's not Sunday. It was Sunday, but now it's Monday. <laughs> All right, so it's been like almost like a, almost a week uh, that he's Meg has been trying to balance the battery every night. All right, I try to do it in the daytime a little bit if I know if I know that cell is low. Okay, <laughs> but but you can't do it when it, when the battery's got charge in it. All right, you gotta if you're gonna bottom balance, you gotta do it at a low state of charge anyway so right now I'm charging the number one battery all right and um, and it's at 2.6 volts right now all right everything else is at three volts check it out yeah there it is so my lowest voltage is that number one that I'm charging right now at 2.6 volts and my highest is the last one I charge is number eight it looks like it's dropping now so so yeah remember whenever you're charging something when you stop charging it, it's gonna the the voltage is gonna drop a little, okay? Because you're you're trying to pump in more voltage, you know, and then and it'll drop off later. So so it's perfect now. So they're they're all 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2.9, 2 nearly 2.9. Uh, this one's 2.85. We might have to charge number five a little bit, um, and then six is 2.9. All right. So once this gets to like three, um, we'll we'll pull it off, and then that should get us pretty close to 2.9, and then we'll be done. So it's at a pretty low state of charge right now, and and the difference in voltage is 0 0.373 volts. So it's not bad, right? Usually I see it 
half a volt to like 0.8 volts or something okay so all right yeah so i think pretty much once we charge up number one to 2.9 volts or three volts won't be good it'd probably be 2.8 volts by the time uh this thing is done charging it's probably going to take another hour or two so what i've what i've noticed is it takes uh it takes about like uh like an hour you want to leave it on an hour at a time if, if there's a lot of you know things so if it needs a lot of voltage like like almost like half a volt it'll take like an hour or two okay all right yeah so i'm pretty excited we're i think this is it tonight is the night we'll, we'll be done all right but um we'll be able to test it tomorrow night all right well i'll try to charge up the battery yeah we'll try to discharge the battery all the way tomorrow night and we'll see if it holds the balance all right if if everything is all messed up again then i don't know what the hell to do okay it'll forever and so i'm not gonna lie uh this took me a lot longer to balance than uh than the the battery crate number one all right battery crate number two is taking like a whole week i think i really only balanced the other one like two or three times or something and then i just did it every month or something so um yeah i don't know what the deal is <laughs> i don't know why it's so so hard this time around but it's okay um well yeah last time last time i think i mostly charged it with uh um with the with the one s the one s configuration all right so this time i charge it with the 8s um charger a little bit so i don't know i don't know if that changed it or not but it's it was pretty out of balance on the low end so um and i think it's more important to balance it on the low end than the high end yeah because we don't really we don't really charge it i don't charge it to 29 volts anyway so it doesn't really matter to me man <laughs> okay so uh so yeah i'll come back in an hour and hopefully it'll be done um hopefully i'll be still awake i i definitely yeah so what i should do is probably set a timer on my phone so that's what i'm gonna do i'll set the phone for one hour what's four o'clock already okay one hour and then hopefully it'll if i fall asleep it'll wake me up all right one hour five minutes and i think we'll be good and hopefully we can get that the difference in voltage down to like much lower see now it's 0.3 pretty good so hopefully we can get it to like within a, a tenth of a volt would be nice okay this is already going up to 2.6 so it's rising pretty fast now all right yeah but everything else is really really close to each other i'm pretty happy with that how the way that turned out okay See you guys in an hour. Oh yeah, so another thing is that uh whatchamacallit, um I was gonna try to balance the two packs, all right, the, the two battery crates, okay. Uh whichever one whichever crate had the lower state of charge, we're gonna charge that to match the other one. And then I hope hopefully those two will be in sync. What I've noticed is one of the battery crates pulls more current than the other one. Yeah, one of them will be like 30 amps and the other one will be like 20 amps so it's like different i don't know maybe it's because maybe the batteries are a little bit different they're, they have they're supposed to have the same capacity but they're a little they're the batteries are definitely different they don't look the same <laughs> okay so that that could be it all right but i i don't really care it's like they're they're splitting up the work is what they're doing anyway so um but I, yeah well, um i will try to to balance the two packs all right so if one is at like 25 volts and one's at 24 volts, we'll charge the 24 volt one to 25. And I can do that because I have that the 8S charger now. So all I have to do is hook up the alligator clips to the main terminals and okay, that's the plan. All right, here we go. That's after that's after we get the uh, battery crate number two uh, bottom balance. So that's what I'm waiting on. All right, hey, it's me here. It's been like an hour later. I fell, I fell asleep, and I woke up. I woke up two minutes right before the alarm went off. Perfect. <laughs> I did sleep through it. Anyway, yeah, I woke up just the right time. And I had two minutes, and I went back to sleep, and then I got up. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're at 2.97. All right, everything is at. Was that number one? That is number one, huh? Yep, now that one is the highest charge now, okay, so I'm going to go 
turn that off and I'm gonna go to sleep I guess um, but anyway number five is our lowest one at 2.772 so that's about two hundredths of a volt off as you can see there okay yeah 0 0.96 volts All right um yeah let me go let me go throw the charger on that one real quick number five Okay, but we're done with that one, one. It's the highest one now, but it'll go down once uh once uh you give it some time. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, we'll put it on five for a little bit, for like twenty minutes or something. All right. Okay, it's been about uh like five minutes, and look at that difference in voltage: zero point one by five volts. All right. Uh, pretty low state of charge at 23 volts, so I think we're good. Um, let's try to get that to 2.9 volts. All right, so we gotta get this to go up one tenth. It's gonna take probably another 20 minutes, maybe. <laughs> uh, at 2.9, then we'll pull it off. Um, but I think I want to go to sleep. Yeah, maybe we'll finish it later. Um, I just checked the voltages. Okay, check this out. All right, 23.1, guys. 23.1. Let's go over here. 23.1, guys. 23.1, maybe 23.2. No, 23.1. Perfect. So the, the packs are in sync. All right. So that's awesome. All right, so we don't have to do that. We don't have to sync up the packs, all right, because they're, well, they're in parallel. We shouldn't have to do that anyways, but it looks like it's good right now. All right, so bo both of the batteries, let's check, like, let's just check one. How about that? So this is uh, number eight on crate one. All right, 2.9 volts. Got it? Oh, yeah, I had that hooked up there. So, 2.8. So, once this gets up to 2.9, it'll be perfect. It'll be all in sync. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's the that's the number 8. This is the number 8 on the crate 2. And that's the one we're charging right now. So, all I have to do is wait for that to get to 2.9 and we're done. Alright, so, I'll see you guys. Okay, what did I say? 20 minutes later, and we're at 2.93. And everything is dropping pretty fast, so I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs> so, so yeah, when man, that might just settle at 2.9 right there. So, okay, so um, we've got a, a difference in voltage of 0 0.168. That's really good. So I think I think I'm gonna call that it for tonight. This number four battery is getting kind of low again. What the okay, hell? I got that number four on the charger. It's at 2.77, so it should get to 2.8 pretty fast. So right now we get a difference in voltage of 0 0.55 volts. Very good. It's getting closer and closer as this goes up. So once that hits 2.8 or 2.81, I'm going to... Amazing me, I can't think right now. The sun's starting to come up, man. <laughs> it's it. Yeah, the sun is starting to go up. But, uh, yeah. So, I think, uh, I'll give it another 5-10 minutes, and I think that'll catch it to this. And I think that'll be it. Alright. See you guys in 5 minutes. Okay, it's been 5 minutes, and there it is. It shot up to 2.8 really fast. It's almost 2.82. So, probably want to pull it off now. So, the lowest charge went from 4 to 3 just now. And we have 0.1 volts difference. All right, so I'm gonna shut that off, and I think we'll be good. All right, maybe I'll let it wait for a minute to stabilize, but I think we've got it. Okay, guys, I have now bottom balanced the battery or battery crate number two. It took almost a week. All right, but here we here we are, and and it, both the battery crate one and two are now. Uh, are, are now synced so 
everything looks good pretty much the balance of everything is good on battery crate 2 now i don't know why it took so long to do it all right they were just like all over the place and it took forever to thing it um Hades Mega got pretty good at predicting how long it takes to charge it with this guy. Alright, good thing I get my money, my money's worth out of my IMAX charger, man. I <laughs> think it's a little trooper, is what I want to say. And it, it, it gets really hot when you're charging it. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. Um, so, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, alright? Tomorrow night, um, I'm going to try to drain the battery one more time. And then we'll see how the balance is tomorrow night, all right? If it could stay in, if the balance could stay within, like, like half a volt would be great, all right? But right now we're at, at one-tenth of a volt, so that's actually the closest I've gotten. So, so um, may, there might be a little bit more room to, um, to balance, but I think, uh, I think that'll be good for now. Let's just let, let it cycle a couple more times all right and then uh and then we'll see what where it stabilizes that um so so we can get it at the point where like it's it's balanced like this one all right the battery crate one all right um it just could be maybe the batteries aren't good on the battery crate too i'm not sure <laughs> i don't know we'll see we'll find out but it looks like they're in sync now so so uh i'll see you guys tomorrow night to check to see if uh the battery does, held its balance. All right, Hades Mega out. All right, hey, Hades Mega here. And so uh, I know I thought I'd see you guys at night, but it's the daytime, all right? It's got like 4.8% on it. I'm about to unplug my RAV4. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show you what the state of the uh, the balance is. It's really good, 0 .00, 0 0.027 or 0 0.033, okay? Yep, now it's just state, low state of charge. Okay, but, but yeah, the balance is really good. 0 0.026, all right. But uh, but yeah, that's to be expected, right? Uh, the batteries are like kind of in that, uh, man, it's hella hot. Anyway, uh, the, that's to be expected. The, the battery is like kind of in that, that middle state of charge, all right? That that middle of the, the voltage curve, all right? So, so they should all be pretty close. It's kind of it's kind of amazing how that the chemistry and all that stuff. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys tonight. We'll we'll test to see how good the balance is once the, the battery uh, bank is fully drained. I'm tired. I know I hate to say it. I'm tired of fully draining this battery bank, man. Because uh, it's I'm not getting any benefit from having the extra capacity. So I want to say, but tonight we'll check the balance between the two crates. All right, two crates <laughs> and the. Uh, um, and then the, all the, the eight batteries in the, uh, in the battery crate too. We'll see how it is. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be in within a volt, a uh, half a volt. Well, probably less than half a volt. Uh, that's my, I want, I want it to be less than half a volt, the, the difference in voltage. All right, it's so, making here yeah. and it is the evening. All right, so you can see it's dark out there, all right? Um, and so this is the final test, all right? And it passed, all right? It's still in balance, all right? There it is. Not imbalanced, but it's in balance, all right? So there you go. So there's a difference in voltage, 0 0.062 volts. That's really good. I think Katie's Omega did a great job balancing it, all right? Pretty much all the, all the cells or the batteries are around 3 volts, all right? We got our highest at 3.022 and our lowest at 2.96, all right? That's that's good enough for me. That's four, four hundredths of a volt difference, yeah? Or six now six six hundredths of a volt pretty good that's what i want to say they're all pretty close before they were like all all off all right and there was always one that was really really low all right if i wanted to i could probably charge these blue ones up to three volts real quick but i think we're good all right so there we are we're at 23.9 volts and what does my voltmeter say 23.9 all right this battery all right battery crate number one is at 24 volts close enough right it's a tenth of a volt off that's not a big difference uh, i think these two packs are like have synced themselves up pretty good already okay
All right, and with that, uh, I have to say that the the battery balancing, all right, and the addition of battery crate number two to my solar panel system is a success, all right? So the next step is we're gonna install three more solar panels on the roof, all right? But I will leave that for, for the fall time. I, I'm still kind of getting the parts together, but I got the solar panels, so we'll go up there and, and add another string to it. Um, uh, so, but yeah, just in case, uh, I will wait till, I'll, I'll come back at midnight, all right? It's still pretty early. It's probably at like 8 o'clock or something right now, 8 or 9 o'clock. I'll come back at midnight when it's got a lower state of charge, all right? It's it's in it's in grid mode right now, all right? Uh, right now, they're at 3 volts. Uh, I will see what it, it looks like late at night, all right? So, so there will be one more clip. We'll just check to see how the balance is when the state of charge gets even lower, all right? But right now, I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie, like it was like half a volt uh, difference in voltage before, all right? So um, del delta, right? Delta voltage, change in, change in voltage type of thing. <laughs> yeah, it was like half a volt, all right? That's a lot, all right? <laughs> and uh, that half a volt could be the difference between your BMS saying, hey, yeah, this one is way off or it's too low a charge and it'll just disconnect it and then, and then bad things will happen, all right? Your system will go down. And then you're gonna have to like charge it up and wake it up again. Yeah, it'll be a real pain in the ass. So, so uh, and the good thing is that didn't happen to me once. All right, to, through the whole week because the haze may have kept on balancing it every night, every night. And it took, it took literally a whole week to balance this. All right, I, I think uh, it was it was more difficult to balance this one than it did this one right here. Okay, the, the the older one. Right, the battery crate number one. All right. Anyway, I'll see you guys like around midnight all right we'll see when it's at a lower state of charge how how good the balance is and then that will be it okay but yeah so uh so yeah if it holds its balance pretty well that means like uh, i won't have to touch it for like a few months all right so what hades mega does every month i go and i manually check well now i don't have to manually check at least at the, for at least for the battery crate number two i could use the app the 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 bluetooth app to check how good the balance is and it'll tell you in in seconds all right it'll tell you which one's the lowest one and the highest one um and then which one you need to charge that type of thing it makes it a lot easier i wish i'd gotten the bluetooth one in the in the first place okay um the only thing is i don't know how to get the active balancer to work i, I never see it working guys <laughs> so does it only work on when it does the top balance does it work on the low balance i you know i kind of wanted to do both right <laughs> I just want it to balance all the time. How about that? You know, but no, it doesn't do it. I never seen it balance. All right. Sometimes I see it kind of turn on a little bit and then it'll turn off right away. Yeah, it doesn't really work guys. <laughs> so, but, but anyway, I, I've managed to manual balance it. And, and, and if you manual balance it and you get it pretty close, you don't have to touch it for months. All right. I, this one I haven't had to touch for months. All right. And it's still good. So hopefully that'll be the same case with that. And they're nicely synced up. So, um, now now we don't now the system hopefully will run very smoothly right. and and if and if it doesn't you'll you'll uh, i'll make a video about it <laughs> all right see you guys in a bit all right he's big here it's that it's midnight and uh so we're gonna do the fight the final balance check all right so here it is okay so our difference in voltage is 0 0.094 all right kind of it's kind of high but not really that's fine it's under 0.1 volts, so okay. Our highest voltage is 2.942 right now, and our lowest is 2.848, so pretty good, pretty close. All right, I wonder why the cycles never changes. It always says a low one. Um, so yeah, there it is, that's where it is. Number four is the lowest at 2.848, and number six is the highest at 2.9, all right. It looks like the average is 2.9 volts, all right, so pretty good pretty happy with that all right and there are um crate the crate voltages all right crate uh, battery crate number one is 23.3 and and this isn't accurate because i'm using two different gauges if i use the same if i use the same multimeter it, it i bet you it'd be a little bit different all right but this one's at 23.3 volts and this is at 23.1 volts all right so there's two two tenths of a volt variance between the two packs which is it's okay i guess but you saw earlier that um, when I checked the current on it, um, it was almost the same. In fact, we can do that right now real quick. Okay, so this one is, uh, ba okay, th let's tr check battery crate number one. All right. It's uh, point, point 0.3 amps. All right, point 0.3 amps. And battery crate number two, 
0.2 amps, all right? So slightly less current coming out of the, this, this battery right here, okay? Probably more from this one because this one has a higher state of charge or a higher, higher voltage anyways is what we'll say. Okay, but it's not off by a whole lot. For the most part, they were pretty much the same earlier. Um, throughout the night, it's probably, the variance is going to get bigger. Um, yeah, I'll probably... I'll probably check it before I go to sleep, but I, I don't think we're going to have anything to worry about. I don't think anything is going to get too low in volts, all right. Uh, what I'm interested to see is when the when the battery state of charge gets so low, um, this guy kicks on, all right. The, this has an onboard AC charger. It'll actually um, uh, draw power from the grid and start charging the batteries if I get a low voltage fault. Um, and that one is... Uh, uh, battery voltage is too low, all right? If I get a code number four here, all right, this will start charging the batteries at, at, at like four amps or something for some really low thing. And let's see what the, yeah, let's see what the total, what the voltage is here, all right, where they all come together. 23.14, pretty low. Anything under 24 volts is pretty low already, all right? I think 22 volts is like the lowest I think you can go. I'm not 100% on that, but but 2.2 volts is the voltage low voltage cutoff, right? We're, and we're we're well above that still. We're 2.9, so we got like half more than half a volt left to go. So okay, um, and then what kind of current are we pulling right now? 1.5 amps. All right, that's like a sta the standby um, standby draw is like one amps. Okay. Okay, and so with that, uh, I am done balancing battery crate number two, all right? Uh, like I said, no, number one didn't really need to be balanced, all right? It probably would have been a good idea to go balance it, but yeah. Um, anyway, um, yeah, it took a whole week to do this bad boy, so, <laughs> so uh, but, uh, but I, I got it done. And it looks like uh, I won't have any more problems with it, hopefully, if... if if I do have problems on it, you'll see another you'll see another video you'll see a video about it. <laughs> okay, uh, but hopefully it'll be fine now. Now I can finally just let it charge. All right, because it's gonna take a long time to charge this puppy. It takes like it'll took two full days to charge this battery. All right, so so I got a lot a lot of energy we could store now. All right, uh, but every day I've been trying to drain it all the way all the way so i can bottom balance it right, what a pain in the ass so so uh guess what we got to do we're going to charge it all the way up and check the top balance now but i don't think we're having a problem but yeah that would be a good idea um I, when i charge it all the way up i'll check the balance i'll do the top balance um but i think it'll be fine i don't think we need to top balance it i've already bottom balanced it i think bottom balance is more important than top balance okay thanks for watching here's we go